The Illinois Valley Soil and Water Conservation District works with landowners alongside community members to protect, restore, and manage water quality use. The district works helping clean up riparian areas, forested areas, agricultural lands, and helps promote conservation best practices. We're told the organization got calls last May concerning water theft, among other problems with riparian areas, creeks, and rivers. The most important uses in um, our region are both residential commercial, in-stream, irrigation, and agricultural uses. There is no approved use for illegal crops, such as cannabis grows, that aren't licensed with the state. It hired Chris Hall, an outside contractor, to dive deeper into the issue. He got to work on researching, engaging the community level of concern. To research and map the, the scale of the problem, which included flying over the valley, videotaping the entire region, and then building a map off of that. The effort started at the end of July and went through February. The findings, he says, show unprecedented water use. Yeah, there was over a thousand cannabis grows, of which 82% were never licensed by the state of Oregon. 18% were legal, 82% were not. That's a lot of unauthorized water use. Hall says there are 32 million square feet of cannabis being grown in a thousand grows in the Illinois Valley using 1,500 acre feet of water. That's 505 million gallons, which he says is equal to an entire summer month's flow of the Illinois River. So imagine, you know, taking the river that is the name of our valley and shutting it off for an entire month. That's how much water was sucked out. Uh, or the equivalent amount of water that was used. His work didn't go unnoticed. It caught the attention of leaders at the state level. The governor held a special session in December, on December 13th, and uh, they appropriated $5 million towards enforcement of water law. There's also $25 million that the uh, legislature approved for grants for law enforcement to apply for specifically addressing the cannabis problem.